Hi guys, this is Skyview Mall and in this video I just want to show you how to get all the buildables and then a couple of extras. Enjoy. So in the first one I'm going to show you how to get the civil protector, the fuses and where to actually get them activated. First one is actually inside the Star World toys where the space cadet spawns in. Find it there. The second location that I found for the fuse is in the jewelry shop on the shelf here. That's inside the Shopaholic Paradise. My third fuse I found in the tech zone, right outside the security shop where you actually, or I don't know if it's a security shop, but it's right outside the great purchase. That's also where you, I do know there's a, a, a potential spawn on these shelves as well, but you build your you add your fuses for the civil protector inside the shop and then you can call them from any of the uh, machines where you can actually call the civil protector. I do know there are other places where it can spawn um, but yeah those are the ones I found in this game. Just a side note on the silver protector, those fuses aren't difficult to find, um, they're always easy to see, so yeah, as you run around on the map doing other stuff, you'll get all the fuses and you can just go and uh, add them to the, to the console. And this one I'll just quickly show you what happens when you activate the silver protector. not costing you money, you just pop it out here and start protecting. I have no idea if you can upgrade him so that you can sit with a pack weapon. At least I showed you how you can get him. How to access all the nice guns that you might want. Um, the first thing is you need to get into Gus's guns. That's inside the man cave. That's just a points purchase. You've got 2000 points. You can actually get it. To get to the special weapons sitting in the locked room, you need to come into the shopaholic paradise whatever you want to call it into the gray matter store and you'll find a key card on the or well, next to the computer or the tool yeah and uh, you then just go back to gus's guns and inside gus's guns in this corner you'll find a door that's locked and if you've got that key card you can actually unlock it and inside here you can buy any of the nice guns so for fairly cheap you can seriously get almost any gun you want i mean there's the alien salvo i mean there are some sniper lmgs ray gun mark ii normal ray gun the overkill that's totally overkill Shadow Hunter, Bow, you can get the Thunder Gun for 25,000 points. You can get Monkey Bombs. Uh, the Bowie Knife. So any of the seriously nice guns can be found just by picking up that key card and opening this door. Right, 
when you're inside Gus's guns you can also start getting well parts for the wonder Wolf. the first part is actually inside this locked door that you open with the key card the second part for the wonder Wolf bolt is actually in the pack punch call it i don't know room <laughs> you can just pick it up here at the back another thing you can do inside the toy shop is you can actually get uh, in the same room where you get the blunder gut there is an additional part for the for the um wonder Wolf that you can pick up inside the same room where you go and do the magma gut You can now go to any of the buildable tables. There's one right next to Gus's guns where you can build a one wolf and just pick it up. You can get access to the blunder gat, the acid gat and the magma gat. You go into the kids zone, into the back, we've got the Bath's toy emporium. Now in this toy emporium there's a couple of figurines that you need to shoot. The first one as you enter the door and you look to the right on that shelf you see the first one that you can shoot. Um, so I got that one. Then if you go to the left on the last, uh, well call it shelves, there's one on that shelf. The last, well the second last figurine, when you come, you can actually get it with the jump pads, but if it's got a shotgun, it's right on top of that shelf, so let's use the jump pad to get there, and shoot it, uh, it's the easiest, you can shoot it with anything, but it means the easiest with a shotgun. Yeah, I've got it. Now the last figurine that you need is right here on the shelf, this little rocket. Once you've got that, this podium, a well, jump pad appears at the entrance where the bear was. And you can actually now use that to jump into that room that was actually inaccessible before. Because you need that jump pad to get in there. And that's where you get the blunder gut. We can do the upgrade to the acid gut and the magma gut. To get the pieces for the acid gut, you can use the in the same kind of toy shop. You can use the jump pad and there's a piece that you can pick up from that shelf. That was the first one I got. Is by jumping with the jump pads. The second one you can get, second piece is right here on the shelf. The second part. And the last part you can actually get here from this shelf in the same shop. So all the parts are inside the same shop. Now if you jump to the to the blunder um, gut room you will see that you can buy the blunder gut off the table here for 5000 points and you can actually build the, the asset gut upgrade inside the same room so now you've got access to the blunder gut and you've got access to the asset gut upgrade for it Okay, so although it's easy to build the, the acid gut, to build the magma gut, it's a bit more involved. You need to actually buy the blunder gut or get it from the box. box. So let's do that. And then you need to find 10 skulls that you need to shoot. 
throughout the, the map. That's why it says here where you can actually go and do the magma gut that you need to collect 10 heads. And the only way you can collect them is with the actual uh, blunder gut. So you need to get the blunder gut, whether it's from the box or buying it there for 5,000. And then you need to go around the map and shoot 10 skulls. So getting the skulls, the first two, as you come out the, the toy shop, in the Silly Sam Saloon, the first one is on the shelf there at the top. The second one you can find inside the Minecraft market, here by the tree. Next skull you can find in the jeweler shop. If you run to the back next to the buildable table, there's a window. If you look through the window next to a computer on the desk, you can find the skull. Then right across from there in Trent's, if you look at the right hand side, just under the jellyfish diver sign, you find another skull on the shelf. Right next to the jeweler shop, in the pretzel shop, you can also see a skull there on the shelf. Another skull in the food court. If you go to the Moonlight Cafe, you don't even have to open the or buy the door. You can just see it there on the shelf. Next skull you can find close to Gus's guns. If you just approach it on that, I don't know what you, it's like a building thing in front of Gus's guns on the roof. You can find that one and then you can find another one uh, right next to Gus's guns. We found the buildable table. Um, if you look at the back there, you'll see another skull. The next skull you can find in the Great Purchase. It will sit on the bottom shelf inside the shop. The next skull is inside Tech Zone. If you just under the Tech Zone sign in the bushes, you will see a skull. If you now go back to the toy store and you use the jump pad again, you can see that that clock in that room disappeared and you can now actually place the blunder gat to convert it to the magma gat. I'm not a big fan of the acid gat but the magma gat's not bad. You can just pick it up. So the, to get the shield, the only places I know where you can find parts, and this is not an exclusive list I think, is in this, I don't know what you call it, shop where you do your tires and stuff, you work on your car, there can be a, a piece for the shield in there. The other places I know of, are inside the actual food court. So if you go through to the shaved ice, shaved baits, shaved ice, in this back room, there should be a part there. You might also want to check these back passages. I'm not sure if it can be there, but um, I do know on the other side is where you can find this one. So if you go to whatever this shop is, when, when Donald's Burgers on this table, you can find a part. And then if you go into this back passage, if you access this, you'll find another part right there. So these are the only places I know of where you can actually find parts, um, but I'm, yeah, as I say, I'm not saying that's an exclusive list. So 
So as you come out of the food court and go into the shopaholic paradise, there's a bowlable table right here in the corner where you shot the one skull. And this is where you can then craft the zombie shield. It's only the two parts that you need for that. You can also get the hacker. I'm not even sure what you use it for, but you can pick it up. Well, I found it here in the electronics shop in the tech zone. Another notable thing that's quite useful if you need it is if you go into the pharmacy, if you go out of Gus's guns into the pharmacy, on the shelf here yeah, you will find some pills. If you buy that for 2000, it will spawn a, a random power up for you for 2000 points. It might be useful if you run out of ammo or need points or whatever. Thanks for watching. Till next time.